guys, welcome back to my channel. So, it's time to, uh, I'm pre-filming it, but I'm already picking out products for my new uh, painting project, which will, uh, well, when you see it's 2019 already, but uh, this is what I want to uh, pan on, uh, on this next year let's say in 2019 and first is this magnetic palette full of matte eyeshadows I love matte eyeshadows and here uh, here till uh, here we have a nabla like two and more, almost three and then from here till here we have effect which is like a Polish uh, company and here we have co uh, three matte Colourpop eyeshadows. So I want to hit. I already have one pan here, which I did hit this year. So um, I still have. Uh, I still want to hit more pans, at least three eyeshadows uh, from this self-made uh, palette. And I use lots of mattes, and this is like uh, here is everything I need. I have some colourful shades, some uh, nudes. Now, I have another eyeshadow palette that I uh, made myself. This is uh, the Nabla eyeshadow palette here. And inside I have um, uh, four effect eyeshadows. And these two are the Colourpop uh, single eyeshadows. These were the fit... fit, fit festival palette which some of them most of them are not even available anymore so uh, but I did want to put them in here uh, and just use them more because I haven't loved them and they are beautiful continuing with eyeshadows I put these three under one and this is the um, liquid eyeshadows from Nabla. I have the shade Ethero, uh, Last in Paradise and in uh, Sidereal uh, Shell. Uh, this is the three shadows I have and uh, and I it, these are if you were wondering except this these three are like they're super like liquidy iridescent sparkly shadows so I wanted to use these as my like uh, uh, I can add some baboom to the looks and so on so it's not boring then I have um, one more eyeshadow uh, this is also from Colourpop it's the super shock shadow and this is how it looks it's super beautiful it's come clean and I have like a slight swatch of it here let me make it better so it's like this kind of gold and I was thinking it will go really well with other shades and uh, I love Colourpop and I love their super shock shadows so I think this would be a great addition to the collection then I want to finish up and complete the others I just want to get progress uh, and maybe switch them up throughout the uh, light, uh, time but I want to finish up my this pixie um, veily hung uh, black eyeliner duo the felt tip is already used up but I have like this much of the liner left so I do want to uh, finish it so I get done I use it anyway almost every day I really like this liner then I want to hit pan on this a pupa like a doll luminous blush uh, it's in shade 205 it's really beautiful beachy shade as you can see I really want to get progress on it and maybe I will be able to hit pan on it end of the year uh, then uh, another complexion item is from Milani. It's the baked bronze in shade 09 Dosha. Uh, this is how it is. I have been using it a lot already and I really like it. It's so nice powder to bronze up the skin. Yeah, I keep. I like to keep uh, in my pending project items I actually like and I want to get see progress. 
and then this is not my favorite but I wanna use it up it's from Huda Beauty complexion perfection pre makeup base this is okay primer not my favorite but I wanna get progress unfortunately I can't see where I am but I guess if it's less the this um, tube will be thinner and if you hear cat noises it's because my cats are crazy they're running around uh, then I have some lip items in my this mm, first is this Dior uh, lip maximizer collagen active clear class uh, I want to use up this and uh, then I have three liquid lipsticks uh, two are from Nabla one is a player which was in their new uh, liquid lipstick kit which is gorgeous and they the other one is a uh, fetish mob it's kind of my everyday colors um, and I want to try to get uh, more use out of this I don't think I can finish the natural use them every day and I like to switch up and the other liquid lipsticks from Milani and this is in shade other this is like my favorite liquid lip from them it's so beautiful the shade I mean and then I have this Bella Beer uh, lipstick it's in shade catwalk uh, it's their like mineral lipsticks and I really want to uh, use it up before it's bad or at least get quite good uh, use out of it um, then I wanna use up my L'Oreal Lorac I wanna use up my Lorac Profection Foundation it's oil free, barbe free, fragrance free, port uh, spectrum sunscreen SPF 20 uh, and I'm in shade fair PR1 and it uh, comes in a pump so I wanna get significant use out of that and then I want to use up this concealer I don't know if I have to mix it with something it's shade in porcelain also from Nabla oh there is quite a lot of Nabla <laughs> in this uh, panning project Nabla has become one of my favorite makeup brands so that's why I guess but uh, I want to use it up and then order one shade darker because this is a little bit too light for me then I have, if you were wondering, 19 items here. So I have uh, something from Ontic Minerals, uh, and this is their highlighter duo. Uh, this duo, uh, this their highlighters are gorgeous, and this duo is absolutely beautiful. I mean, it looks so stunning on skin. I switched it here. I don't know if it quite does it justice but it's absolutely stunning stunning item then I have two face palettes actually I have more I have one more cheek uh, stuff and this is from Bobbi Brown I want to use it up uh, because it's a cream item and these tend to go a bad fast and this is the Cheek Glow Palette uh, and I have the Pink Opal Cream Glow Highlighter and Homecoming Pink Pot Rouge for Lips and Cheeks. So I want to use up this duo, it comes in a beautiful this uh, packaging so I will be working on that. And then I have another tall 10 item, it's their Cheek, uh, cheek to Cheek Blush and Contour Palette. Uh, so. I have a couple of more uh, contouring and bronzing shade if I want like switch up things and also I want to hit pan at least at least couple of uh, shades here then I will put it aside and uh, work on something else and then I have this cream highlighting palette it's also from Bella Bear it's the contour highlight cream palette I have used it and I really like the colors here and uh, yeah the highlighting shades are not that good for me but I think I can work from bronzing and other things from this uh, palette so 
this is it for 2019 uh, pending projects I'm so happy and uh, to start and excited about it um, yeah I can't I, I, I absolutely can't wait to uh, start this pending project and uh, uh, share in January my progress so I hope you enjoyed this video you can find everything listed uh, on my blog uh, all the products and then um, with reviews if there is I wouldn't put reviews on the uh, self-made uh, magnetic pads because it contains different eyeshadows and I don't want to like list them all down but uh, yeah if there is a review on the single thing then I do I will be putting it up so I hope you enjoyed this video give me thumbs up subscribe if you haven't subscribed to keep up with my other videos and I'll see you in my next one bye